Elijah looks like he's having a good time already. See how this works. Touch gloves in the middle. Here we go. Okay. Came out with a little low kick. Right. You got the guillotine in. Blue corner. Elijah has him pinned up. Has Elijah has Cherry pinned against the ring in his own corner up against the gate. Cherry this looks is, very calm. I'm looking directly at his face. He looks very calm. Like he's not threatened at all. Now, and remember, we talked about this. Every part of your body right now yeah, is really, working. Unless you're seasoned and you're just putting weight on your opponent. Both guys inside knees. Trying to gain in some position here. Now, for you, does this irritate you when you're a fighter? Does this get to the point where you're like, come on, man, let's do something else? No. Because uh, uh, I have great upper body strength for my weight class, mm -hmm. so this is usually end up somebody going to the ground. Okay. Uh, that's where judo comes in. Your wrestling will come in. Mm -hmm. you, now we're talking about throwing around 205 pounds. Yeah, that's a little different. But uh, if you're 205, that's what you should be lifting. Yeah, you should be should be able to bench your weight, yeah, right? For sure. You should be able to deadlift a lot more than your weight. That's a good right yeah, uh, knee. Great. Bowley. Bowley's in the red. Bowley threw that last knee, and Cherry's yeah. on the, with his back against the, the fence here. It's hard for hard for Cisco and I to see it when they're right over top of us. It is, especially <laughs> with this size. It's scaring me a little bit. <laughs> gloves and gloves, and yeah. we got two big giants standing over top of us. It's tough to see what's going Cherry on. Needs to get off the cage. The ref might have to separate himself. Okay. Bowley goes for the takedown. He's got him. Almost down. He's got his butt on the mat. This is where you get into the, the GCA has some new referees tonight. Now, Josh Peters, of course, is a great fighter, great trainer, but it's first time he's being observed as a referee this okay. evening. So we'll have to see what happens with Josh here, especially when you get a couple of big boys in the ring. I mean, Josh is a ground guy, so you might let him go yeah. a little longer. He's right. a ground guy with BJJ. Right hands by Bowley to the ribs here. A little bit slow action that we're used to, at least the last couple of fights. These are the big guys. They got to save their energy. And, and, and we say that. Can stop this. Yeah, we say that, and they're both working as hard as yeah. they can right now. Both of them within. I think uh, uh, Elijah just threw his hands up like, when are they, they going to stand us up? Yeah. So now we're just sitting here looking at both guys less than 12 inches from Cisco and I as they're right here in front of I'm us. Just hoping his cage is great. Yeah. Good play. Bowley just picked him up and threw Cherry to the ground. That might have that might have saved the round for, he he for Bowley. He's got the round now. As long as uh, Cherry doesn't reverse. Right there it is, the end of round number one. Cherry on his back has to get up. Bowley moves around and both guys. Bowley definitely throw that round with about 12 seconds left. Yeah, good good pick, ready to roll. I can tell you from being out in the cage as, as Josh Peters starts round number two here, as both fighters square into the middle, that there are little places around the edge that a oh, little un, un, no, well, uneven oh. underneath. Yeah, I mean, these, these big guys come here and they slam themselves. Yeah. Good kick by Cherry. But the cage is still in pretty good shape, and it's yeah. never, never collapsed or stopped on us or anything. But when you're walking around out there, a lot of people don't know what it feels like. And, and there's a little spot over there on that far side that has a, it's risen just a little bit. Has it? I've been in the cage. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not like it's a soft mat either. Yeah. Like when you get tossed. That was a great take. He set it up perfectly. Two knees to the ribs from Bowley to, to Cherry on the ground, and Cherry, he did set him up. Cherry started getting real cocky. I don't know what he was doing, dropping his hands, and Bowley went in there and went in for the takedown. Josh just pulled Cherry's hand off his Bowley shorts. Got to do that on the opposite side of where the ref is and trying to get away with it. Those right hands to the ribs, though, you know, those aren't just for looks. Uh, and this one is five pounds down. You, you get hurt. clubbed right yeah. there. Now, Cherry trying to guard, trying to get his hands in there. So, But that, that head buried into the chest is exactly what you want to see. It, it is. You just want to control him, put him against the cage. Punch every once in a while so the breath doesn't stand him up and just walk away with the ground again. Yeah. And as long as they keep moving, Josh shouldn't stop. I never really agree with this. 
if you're not connecting, you're leaving yourself open. If you go against a good ground guy, he's going to sweep you from there. I don't know why Cherry, if Cherry would come up with a couple of up kicks. Yeah. Or even just go for a sweep, grab his ankle, sweep him. Yeah. But uh, Cherry doesn't really look like a great BJJ practitioner. Well, what he looks to me is tired. Yeah. <laughs> and hurt. <laughs> he just took, he took a pounding. And we talk about 205 pounds getting thrown. It's not just 205 pounds getting thrown. It's 25 pounds getting thrown with 205 pounds landing on it. Yeah. That takes a lot out of you. Now that, that's a couple of big boys landing on the cage. And, and we were just talking about that the mat's not as thick as everybody would like it to be. Yeah. And, and underneath that is just, just wood. Yeah, but, uh, you know, stay on top. You won't have to throw that yeah. at the mat. <laughs> that's what I get told when I go back to my corner. That sounds like a coach. Yeah. That sounds like a coach right there. Go to the bottom. <laughs> Stop letting people slam you. Right. Cherry just kind of looking around, trying to get some advice from his corner. Maybe a little blood coming from the left side of Cherry's face there. He's taking a lot of, well, maybe not a lot, but he's taking some damage. He still looks very calm in there. Yeah. Right. Josh, Josh is going to stand him up. I don't know if I up. Now, let's see if we get him stand up, and let's go. Cherry walks away to get him for some time. Bowley kind of out of control on there. Out of control. He connected, but yeah. still, still out of control. Out of control. He's still contact fell out. I don't know why they're looking for it. Maybe he needs to look a little less calm. Yeah, let's know. let's get aggressive. And here's the start of the fight. Definitely. This one started off a little different. Didn't hear the bell. Yeah. And we just Josh just said, "Let's go." You know, it was like, "Hey." Line that punch up in Alaska. <laughs> Everyone saw that one coming. I do too. Here we go to the ground again. But he does have maybe an arm in guillotine. I can't really see. Doesn't look like it's tight. No, it's not tight at all. And then now he has him in guard with the head in. All Bowling needs to do is turn his chin. He's out. Now he's up against the cherries up against the cage on his back. He's just gonna take more punishment. Body, body, head. That guard's open now. We hear that a lot, body, body, head, and I mean that's just Yeah, you go body, body, drop his hand. Touching for his face. And I would, you can I would see just the scarring. Yes. Cherry's rib cage. I just got yelled at. Was that judge is good? Was I, was I getting yelled at? <laughs> we were. I don't think she knows the difference between a judge and uh, <laughs> a commentator. Yeah. That's fine. Man. Her boy showed a lot of heart. You I think Alvin Mercer won. If she wants to come and talk to me again, I just didn't. I didn't want her yelling and screaming in the mouth. Oh, the up kick just hurt him. I'm telling you, that up kick it catches yeah. folks. Yeah, and and now awesome. and now Bowley looks pissed off. Yeah. But Cherry, I don't know what he's thinking. Yeah. If Cherry, Cherry, Cherry should have got up and been the aggressor on this. This is round three, and he yeah, has to make a move. He knows he's down 0 2. Yeah. This fight is looking a lot like round one and round two. Yeah. Bowley's going to come around, pass again. To me, Sean Cherry just looks like he's yeah. surviving. Yeah, he, he's, he's not trying like to win. He doesn't want to lose. Right. He doesn't want to win. Right. He's just, he's, he's just trying to make sure he doesn't tap out or get knocked out. Exactly. He just wants to go to a decision. Right. That's rib. His rib cage is getting destroyed. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he cracked rib in there. And his, and oh, his yeah, face. Perception. Okay. Cherry's definitely just laying there, hoping not to lose, hoping not to lose until the judges decide. Yeah, I mean, this is going to come down to the card, and of course the aggressor's been bowling, and, and I'd be shocked if they if they turn this one. I mean, his his rib cage is changing colors. Yes, it's, it's changing it's, colors, and I he's. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a crack rib in there. Yeah, and 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 that's I don't understand. People maybe sometimes don't understand how long that takes to heal. A, a long time. And like right. you, it hurts to breathe, it hurts to sneeze, it hurts to laugh. Walk. Wake up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Roll over. So. Oh, oh good oh. up kick. Look. That, and I don't know what Sean Cherry's all mad about. I mean, uh, you know what I'm saying? He, he caught him with an up kick twice. That's twice. the only two things he's caught him with. He should have got him up the first up kick yeah. instead of running his back. Yeah, he should have got up and started fighting. Well, that's the end of round number three. We'll see how this one goes here when I get up in the, in the cage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have the card here scored by the judges. A unanimous decision. Out of the red corner, Elias.
Good job, gentlemen.